I used to blow these up, and one of these would take six huge full breaths to inflate, and I'd get a little lightheaded after a hundred or so of them. And Jason Hackenworth goes through a lot more balloons than that. I think ten to twelve thousand dollars a year in balloons. <laughs> Heckenworth is an artist in New York City. His studio is in this building in Queens. He's probably best known for his balloon work, and he's shown his sculptures all over the world, including the 2005 Venice Biennale. I wanted to bring something that was uniquely New York to the international art dialogue, so I made these giant wearable sculptures called Megamites. They're based on the idea of bed bugs. In fact, many of his pieces have a creepy crawly influence. Yeah, they look like bugs. They look like amoebas or anemones. I, I think just in the process, it's, it's very similar to the way sea creatures and organisms sort of form themselves, the way those shells become spiral. It's not that different than, you know, this process of folding and twisting and folding and twisting each one around and around until, the, um, until it creates these forms. And if you detect some Freudian imagery in the forms, that's intentional. I believe that everything in the universe is basically summed up in this and in this. <laughs> I learned this from my mother. She would twist balloons on the weekends dressed as a clown to make extra money for us. So it was when I started undergrad I asked her if she would forgive me for all the ridicule and teach me some of her tricks. Even for pros, popping is part of it. I break probably 10% on average. And not all balloons are equal. This is Hackenworth's preferred brand. But there is another company who has asked me to, um, to let them sponsor me. And I don't like their balloons. <laughs> so I have said, you know, thanks, but, you know, I'll get back to you. It comes down to stretchiness, but colors are an issue, too. Fortunately, I've found a few that I just love to use over and over. It's, uh, it's lime green, and it's just beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And there's a, there's a color called blush that is this creepy flesh tone. This is really kind of vile, but it's amazing how just about any other color that I add to this works so beautifully. Right now, Hackenworth is constructing a flower sculpture. This is really an experiment. I'm toying with a concept for a future show of sculptures that would resemble giant flowers. If, if I could do it the way I want to do it, it would be the size of one of those small ab above ground swimming pools in your backyard. Part of the experiment is to see how the sculpture changes as the air leaks out of the balloon. In an air conditioned environment, it, I expect it to take four months to really go from, from inflation to something far more shriveled and, and aged. Even in four months, there will still be air in these uh, latex membranes because the elasticity will wear out and the latex will no longer be forcing the air out. It'll just reach a point of stasis and it'll just look like this sort of gelatinous senior citizen sculpture or something. The flower sculpture is designed to let its yellow stamens fall out as it ages. One at a time at first, and then the whole lot of them will just dump out. And I think that would be really beautiful. Light can also make it age faster. It's sort of a trade-off because that sunlight will basically destroy this. So its lifespan is even shorter when the sun is beaming through it, but it's so much more beautiful. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.